Welcome to another Ask Katrina. The question today is, Katrina, how do I ask for more help when I feel like I'm not yet even adding value myself? Great question. So this came up. I was having dialogue with an amazing female executive. And ultimately, the conversation went something like this. Hey, Katrina, I've got a really big responsibility. I am responsible for this portion of the business, which is critical. You know, if my portion of the business fails, the company is going to fail. So I have a lot of responsibility on my shoulders. And, you know, let's let's call it what it is for just a second. Of course you do. <laughs> if you're an executive, you do have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. And so you're feeling that responsibility. You're feeling that obligation to make sure that the company not only thrives, but ultimately just stays safe, step number one. And then step number two, you want it to thrive. But step number one is just the foundation of, keeping the company safe, keeping the company stable, delivering fundamentally on your portion of the business, right? And so you step into the role, and this is what's happened with this, this amazing woman. She stepped into this role. She's looked around at what's happening in the organization. She's taken a look at her team, and she's like, look, I've, I've got to have more help, right? This is what she's saying in her mind. It's what she's saying to me. I need more help in order to, to get the company where it needs to be and have the foundation not to thrive, just to have the foundation. So how do I ask for that? I, I don't feel like I can ask for that because I just stepped into the role. I haven't even proven my worth yet, much less how can I ask for someone else to, to be added to the team? How can I ask for additional headcount is ultimately what the conversation is. And what I want to draw your attention to very clearly, I'm just going to hit it right between the eyes, is this. Why would you assume that your value wouldn't be shown immediately by recommending that additional headcount must be added to your team. Why is that seen as a devaluing as opposed to adding value? Right? Let's flip that around for a second. You stepped into the role and you immediately did your job. You said, look, I've got to lay a foundation of execution. I've got to lay a, lay a foundation of marketing. I've got to lay a foundation of finance, whatever it is, whatever your role is, legal, compliance, HR, all of the above, right? You get the point. You stepped in and you used your expertise and you said, okay, I'm looking around. Foundation, foundation is going to take these components in order to be built and stabilized. That's adding value. Don't think that you have to roll up your sleeves and do it all. That's a, that is a non-executive mindset. That's a director level or a mid-level leader mindset that I've got to roll up my sleeves and prove my value through tasks and actions. That's not an executive leader mindset because an executive will add value by pointing out the gaps in the foundation and saying to close these gaps, we need this type of talent. We need this number of headcount. We need this many people. And this is how we do it. Now, does that mean that you're going to get it? No. Then you're going to have to go and negotiate. You're going to have to influence. You're going to have to do all the other things that executives do in order to help people understand the why. But you've got to ask for it. That's the key. Do not step into an executive role thinking that you must prove your value through rolling up your sleeves and doing it yourself and showing that you have added some things to the organization before you feel as though you can raise your hand and ask for help. Yes, that is how it worked in your old life. That's how it worked as a mid-level leader because you needed other number crunchers and doers and you know widget makers in order to move the business forward. You're not, you're not at that level anymore. You don't have to prove your value before asking for help. Asking for help is you proving your value. Flip it around in your brain. See it for what it is. That's how you go ask for help. Put together your plan. Map out the whole foundation of your portion of the business. Include that headcount. Explain why that headcount must exist. That's you adding value. Be clear. It's really important. See that for what it is. As always, go and be legendary.